Welcome back, friends, to Casey Lounge. And Libation. I'm Alan. And I'm Marco. Today we've got something special for you. That's right. We're going to be doing a little space camper series from Boulevard Brewing Company. And uh, they're going to be partnering with the upcoming Planet Comic Con. If you're watching this video, you might be there already. April 22nd, 23rd, 24th at the KC Convention Center, Bartle Hall. They have a booth there at P50, and which is going to feature what I would consider the unofficial beer mascot of Planet Comic Con. Yeah, it kind of is. Yeah. You see it everywhere. Yeah, Space Camper. Yeah. Specifically the Cosmic IPA. Maybe some of our friends will be there as well. Friends, yeah. yeah. The Delta Ray, Giga uh -huh. Hop, Star Haze. Star Haze. Maybe sample a few of those. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's right. So join us as we enjoy some Space Campers and help her on her mission to save the planet Earth. The only planet with beer. Space camper fans, assemble! <laughs> I've had the Space Camper Cosmic IPA a ton of times, but I'm interested to try these other ones. Yeah, I haven't really had any of the other line, uh, so pretty excited to try this today. Mm -hmm. Not only is Space Camper Cosmic IPA delicious, mm -hmm. but with every purchase, you're helping Boulevard protect the environment. That's right, looking to save the planet. You know, they have their hands on a lot of different various uh, sustainable projects like tree planting and water protection. Their Ripple Glass company that they created mm -hmm. as Kansas City's only way to recycle glass. That's right. Partnering with Planet Comic Con, they're going to have a booth at section P50. P50, yeah, yeah, that's right. Do some tastings. Um, Boulevard's a huge supporter of Planet Comic Con. So um, check out their booth. That's right. If you've ever been there before, they're usually a pretty busy spot, so mm -hmm. go check them out. Mm -hmm. Cosmic IPA, she's our hero, gonna take pollution down to zero. Heart. Heart's the worst. I know. <laughs> First up is the hero that started it all, the Space Camper Cosmic IPA, coming in at an ABV of 5.9% and an IBU of 50. I don't get much off the nose. Not really. It's kind of crisp. Flavor-wise, I get fruits. A little pineapple. Mango. When I taste it, it's, I get kind of a Northeast hazy IPA off of it, okay. but there's a little bitterness and pine to it. It's yeah. kind of right in the middle of the road. You definitely get that flavor, that distinct flavor uh, with like galaxy hops. Yes. I feel like when those are used, you can always get that, that distinct flavor, which I'm a really big fan of. That's why I really like. I like this IPA. You know, it reminds me of like a, like a space dust. You know, like yes. And space dust. Mm -hmm. Would you describe it as pillowy? I would. Kind of, uh, it's light, light to medium bodied, soft kind of pillowy mouthfeel to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. So if you were going to describe the fruit, pick, what, what fruits would you get out of this? Pineapple, melon. <laughs> Do you get the melon again? I, I get like a cantaloupe. Okay. Kind of, yeah. I definitely get the pineapple. I could see stone fruit and like more like a tropical fruit. Okay, yeah, I get um, that. Maybe a mango. So let's play our favorite game for a minute. Okay. They do have some food pairings with this one. Yeah. So what are you thinking? My thoughts were like like an Indian food, like a buttered chicken or like mm -hmm. some kind of curry. Something okay. Like that. Yeah. I was thinking Thai food, so I was thinking Ooh, like okay. some yeah, some yeah. like noodles or uh, like a red or green curry. So what does Boulevard say? They say chicken biryani. Okay. All right. Yeah. Carnitas, ginger tuna pokey. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Key lime pie. I could get that. I cannot get that. No? I think that'd be good. Yeah. yeah. And then gorgonzola cheese. I feel like I never get the cheese ones. Yeah, I was like, ooh. Like, it's like a wine pairing? Yeah. Like cheese, but it's beer. Yeah. Which one of Cosmic IPA's friends do you think we'll meet next? Perhaps Delta Ray? I'll bet that's it. Probably. Probably Delta Ray. Next up, we have Delta Ray, an intergalactic hazy. Coming in at 4.4% ABV with an IBU of 40. Let's g -g 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 go! <laughs> Delta, who, what, 
mischievous little vixen is this? <laughs> She's got like a green face and she looks like a badass, like Gamora. Hmm. I kind of get a little citrus, a little pine. I get like 80% fruit and maybe like 20% floral. Like kind of like on the last one, I do get some like pineapple and mango okay. Okay. sweetness. I get a, a sweet citrus, so more like an orange or tangerine. Okay, oh uh, yeah. I get much more of a hazy IPA fruitiness to this one. Yes. The other one was much more of a blend. It's a lighter beer. I okay. think it's for, you know, if someone doesn't like an IPA, they might go for this. Yeah. Boulevard actually has food pairings for this one too. <laughs> I'm going fruit salad, like the, with the marshmallow, that kind of fruit salad. I was thinking more something like with a fruity vinaigrette on it, like a, like a strawberry pecan salad oh, with okay. some little goat cheese on it. So what do they say? Let's find out. Let's see. We got <laughs> oh, food pairings include fruit salad. Okay, there you go. A hoisin glazed salmon. Okay. Ahi poke bowl. Penne with summer vegetables. There's a star haze waiting in the sky. He'd like to come and meet us, but he think he'd blow our minds. Let's go meet him. Next up on our galactic lineup is the Star Haze IPA, coming in at 5.9% ABV with an IBU of 40. Okay, so I, it smells more piney than hazy, yeah. like more like a West Coast. What? It's, it's very... It's confusing. They're sending me mixed signals. From space. <laughs> 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 what are you picking up on? What are you What are you tasting? I get pine, citrus. Um, I do get like a pineapple or mango on the back end, just a little tropical fruit. Yeah, I get a little tropical fruit on the back end. Mm -hmm. I'm going. I get a lot of pine in the front, and then tropical. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a few citrus notes in there in the, in the middle. They didn't give us any food pairings. But what would you pair this with? They did not, and I was kind of disappointed. So let's just let's see. I'm going tacos. Tacos? Hmm. Al pastor. Okay. Maybe some barbacoa. I'm gonna say I'd have this with some key lime pie. Key lime pie, get out of here. It's the can, isn't it? I said a giga, hop. I get it a hop. I said a giga, 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 get it hop. The wife's not laughing yet, so it's not funny. <laughs> Last in this galactic odyssey, we have Giga Hop, a dual hemisphere IPA. Clocking in at 5.9% ABV with 60 IBU. Our next Space Camper Galactic Avenger is a robot. Space Iron Man. Giga Hop. Yeah, he does look like Iron Man. He's got space thrusters. Yeah. So one thing that Boulevard notes is that they use hops from both the northern and southern hemispheres. So there's like, there's like a multitude of hops that they include in this IPA. Cool. Yeah. Giga Hop can fly around like Iron Man from one hemisphere to the other, so it's clear how he gathered all these hops for them. Sure. Mm. So, you know, with the wide variety of hops that they include in this beer, I feel like the most thing I'm picking up on is like a little bit of pine. The bitterness is obviously, you know, amped up a little bit, but I'm getting like a lot of herbal, like yeah, kind of herbal notes on it. Same. It's hard to describe what that what I mean by that, but it's not, there's a little pine, but it's more, herbal's a good word, I, I don't. I feel like I'm getting it like mid, like mid palate. Like bark? Bark, okay. The real question is, what is this gonna pair well with? I'm gonna go way back to our cinder block video. I'm gonna pick a food pairing that just popped into my mind, and I'm gonna say corn nuts. I'm going ch Philly cheesesteak. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. With cheese whiz? Or uh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no cheese no, whiz. No, gross. No, I was thinking like the uh, the herbal notes would go well with the peppers and onions. Okay. I'm going to stick with corn nuts. Okay. There it is. Stick with corn nuts. <laughs> what a galactic journey. What a journey this has been, guys. We went all across the galaxy <laughs> to the stars, the suns. We went to the vast distant worlds. <laughs> Space mission complete! It's done, guys! Close that book. So what are we thinking? I'm thinking Boulevard's got a pretty solid mix pack there, you know? It's pretty decent. You know, yeah. They got the uh, 
Cosmic IPA, which is the uh, the one that started it all. I really enjoyed that one. Mm -hmm. And they got the Giga Hop, and they got the uh, the Delta Ray. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, if you'd like to venture out and get a six pack of the Star Haze, also available. It's pretty pretty delicious. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Out of all four of these, which is your favorite? Cosmic IPA, yeah. for sure. Same. Yeah, I think that's just. I think you can't compete with the original, and I can see why it's. It quickly joined their main lineup of beers. Yeah, yeah. I feel like they introduced it and then boom, it was year round. Mm -hmm. Boulevard has had other Space Camper entries, such as the West Coast IPA called Nova Flare. Yeah, and they also have Major Volta, which is an Imperial IPA. Mm -hmm. so maybe we'll be able to track those down on if they ever release those again. Yeah. Furthermore, if you're going to be in Kansas City, April 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, check out Planet Comic Con. That's right. Who else is going to be there? My wife. My wife. Uh, <laughs> Not my wife, your wife. <laughs> yeah, Cassie's Business, Insomniac Illustrations, is going to have a booth at Planet Comic Con. Uh, we'll be there all three days. Uh, so if you want to come check her out, uh, she has some amazing uh, digital illustrations of popular fan art. Yeah, very cool stuff. Mm -hmm. I have a few of my own. Furthermore, come check out our friends at Elite Comics. Uh, who usually have a primo spot at Planet Comic Con. Come check out their wide array of new, old, uh, cheap to extremely rare and expensive comics. Yeah, they have a very nice selection of back issues and uh, some really great uh, Silver Age comics. Mm -hmm. Planet Comic Con is the biggest Comic Con that Kansas City has to offer. Huge artist alley, mm -hmm. uh, lots of cosplay guests, yeah. lots of famous guests. Yeah, a lot of artists. They got some pretty pretty big names coming in this year. Yeah, uh, some of the bigger ones that I can remember were uh, Adam Savage will be there mm -hmm. from yeah. Mythbusters. That's right. Um, uh, Ralph Macchio. Yep. Karate Kid himself. Wind! Fire! Water! Heart. What about Earth? No, who cares about the Earth? <laughs> Wasn't that the whole point? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for joining us on this galactic space adventure edition of Casey Lounge. And Libation. I'm Alan. And I'm Marco. For more reviews on booze and foods, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Blast off, guys. <laughs> oh no, guys! Giga Hop's been compromised! Get him, Star Haze! Delta Ray to the rescue! <laughs> oh no, uh, who's gonna save the day, guys? Cosmic IPA comes in and saves the day! Oh! We're children. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>